I'm Nancy Sherrick, the mathematician behind Representations of the Braid Group, the winning video of Science Magazine's 2017 Dance Your PhD competition. This is a behind the scenes look of the math of our video. The title of our video is Representations of the Braid Groups. So you might be asking yourself, when does the math start? You know, I've been drawing these tangled pictures and all these diagrams on the board. We've been talking about braids and that might not feel very mathematical to you. But the beauty is it's all mathematics. Math is so much more than just equations and numbers. And most people don't know that. So I'm really happy that maybe I can share that with you. So, these braids, we, we want to understand them a little better. We, maybe we want to make them feel a little more mathy. And that's the foundation of what representation theory is. So a representation is a special kind of function. Now, like every function, it has an input and an output. And you don't necessarily need to understand what goes on in the middle. You can think of it as kind of like a black box. It takes in the input, does some sort of magic tricky bit, and then outputs something. And it doesn't really matter what goes on in the middle. So a representation in our case is going to input braids and output matrices. A matrix is an organized array of numbers. And so here we're starting to see the math come in. The whole purpose of doing this representation process is to take the braids and change it into something that we know how to study. There is a huge theory of matrices, and it's called the theory of linear algebra. And so doing this translation process, we sort of have gained all of the tools of linear algebra that we didn't have to study the braids to begin with. Now, this, this function has to be very carefully done. So what do I mean by that? Well, we've already talked about all the structure of the braid groups. They had some sort of rules. We could change the crossings around. And we want to preserve all of that information. So this translation process is not just take a braid and willy-nilly assign it a matrix. What we have to do is make sure that the collection of matrices we're working with satisfies all of the properties that the braids did. So when we now study the matrices, we can still study all of the properties about the braids that we cared about to begin with. So in the video, the way I sort of illustrated this idea was the bouncers at the entrance to the nightclub. So they took the braid's arm and sort of scanned her braid, and it was sort of a process. They had to decide when they would translate the braid or, and how they would translate the braid. So this is a very careful procedure. The way that mathematicians write down a representation is we usually give the function, the representation, a name. So here I've called it rho. And now if you recall, bn meant the braid group with all the braids with n strands. So this is denoting the input of my function. And I'm outputting matrices. So mathematicians call the matrices, or the collection of matrices, glv. So if you remember in the video, above the entrance to the nightclub was a neon sign that said GLV. So that was kind of a little math joke that said like, the matrices are in there. But if you didn't get that, it's okay. It's kind of a little math Easter eggs, if you will. So something else that happened in the video is, I don't know if you remember these little pictures here and here. In the scene where the braids are being escorted out of the aerial studio and brought into the corridor, there were some little white grid things on the floor. And those were put there for a very special purpose. Um, they're called Young Tableau. As it turns out, and this is, you know, pretty complicated mathematics, so I can't get into the details, but as it turns out, those little tiny grid diagrams actually encode really complicated information and give us a description for how to take a braid and change it to a matrix. That process is encoded in that little grid thing. How cool is that? Yeah, representation theory, that's where it's at. We are making a second math dance video and we need your help. Go to gofundme.com slash mathdance to support our next project.